Welcome back guys to another episode of Minecraft Survival Series. Um, apologies about the last episode, that was just a biz- Oh, I did not mean to do that, I am so sorry Cat. I've destroyed your bed. Um, just trying to show off for the folks watching and it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. There you go Cat. so sorry about that, I'll get you some fish later to make it up for you. Now it is a very rainy day today, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the sound off for the gameplay because that is going to be really distressing if you have to listen to it. Now. This, this, oh, I'm going to try and, ref I'm just going to try and not swear. I mean, I tried to change it to Birchwood to see if it would make it better, and it made it so much worse. So I'm just going to cut this thing down. I'm so tempted to burn it to the ground, but, or just TNT it or something. I am furious. Um, but either way, I need to introduce myself. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, you call yourself an entertainer, but you just don't even do the basics. That's that's the structure we're going to be making, but before we get into that, um, my name's George, this is uh, Escape from Creepers, a little Minecraft series where we're, we're just cutting about and um, making loads of mistakes, mostly, um, but also building a nice little, nice little empire. Um, we've built the windmill, we've built the barn, the little houses, the big house over there, which you can see, um, these ridiculous marketplace stalls, which are causing me so much pain at the moment, um, but the rain, I think, is just... It's just Minecraft's way of telling me just to give up on life. It's basically just saying, you just stop trying. Just stop trying. Because you're just wasting your time. Um, but yes, yes. This is the style I decided to go for. I had a little bit of a, um, a brainstorm. I had to go on my sort of 3D imaging program on my computer. And I came up with this little crafty design. It's really simple. I'm not sure if I like the little coloured thing on top. But um, it might have to just be all white. I do want to see what the I do want to see what the uh, they look all with different shiny colours, but at the same time I think all white is going to be a much slicker look. But we'll do the colours first because I know you guys love that kind of thing, um, and we'll see see how that goes. Now I'll just put some dirt down here, dig this out. So we've got a nice little threshold. None of this no floorboards in the houses anymore. That's just it's just silly. It's just silly. And what I've done as well as I've dug out a bit so we can gravel. The path up to the square because that's gonna be that's gonna be really important. Um, but yeah, this this thing has been like the worst possible way to start a marketplace. This thing, I'm I'm gonna have to cut the whole thing down now because it's just caused me nothing but pain. Pain on Boxing Day. You'd think I'd been punched in the face with a boxing glove. Um, that's how much pain I'm feeling on this Boxing Day because it is raining. My market stall that I've made and I spent a whole episode making didn't work because it looked awful and. I finally made the right design and it started raining on me and it's just, it's just a sad day. It's a sad day in the Minecraft world. Now I did see a cool costume that I want to get but I don't know if I want to spend money on Minecraft as well as make videos because I think that's too much. I think it's just too much at the moment. Um, if you guys want to see like a different skin every week then I'm more than happy to, to invest for you guys. Um, but. I saw this thing, it was like a creeper with a Santa hat on in the skin pack, like the festive skin pack, and I thought that would be pretty damn appropriate. Um, I'm not sure if it's still there now, Christmas is over, but if it is, um, I think it's like a dollar. If you are dying to see me in a different skin, leave a comment below uh, and leave a like whilst you're there, and um, that way I can, I can have an idea of what you guys want to see from the rest of the series, and also the things that you want to see me, you know, if you want to see a creeper in a Santa hat being blown up by other creepers, then we can certainly make that happen. Now, um, I don't want to spend too much time on the gravel side of things. I just want to make sure that it's going to look okay. I think what I'm going to do is go around the corner and then have them on the other side like I've already sort of set them up for. Hmm. What's the best way of doing this? Um, I could get rid of this whole thing. This whole thing is all wrong. Just get rid of it. I, I, I was so tempted to get the flint and steel out and just burn that thing down. It was so bad. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it was only 20 minutes ago or something, but so bad, so bad. I just can't can't be dealing with it. Can't be dealing with it on this hot Sydney night. So right, let's get rid of all of this. Collect that wool up, and then we can um, put the tops on our new marketplace, and it can be all good and all fine and all good looking. And then we can just relax and build something cool. I think the next thing we're going to do is uh, the square. So we've got like the fountain. Things like that. That's going to be a wicked episode because me and water trying to get it to like behave properly is going to be hilarious. Just like that lava in that nether pit that we made, uh, the nether dungeon. Um, it's going to be exactly like that, but with water. So it won't be able to kill me. It'll just be able to make me look like a complete fool. So 
make sure you don't miss that. And um, so you don't miss out, um, hit subscribe, and then you can uh, never miss any of those silly moments again. Um, just, we'll just grab that wool in a sec. Um, I just want to get the sort of the basics done. Is this the right size? It's freaking me out because this one's going to be on the side. Um, it's facing the other way, so it's sort of sort of getting to me. But it's fine. It's fine. So you can sort of see where I'm going. It's a really easy design to make, as you can see. Um, it uses two doors, so with ten market spaces, say, um, that's what. Well, it's twenty. Twenty doors. So twenty doors just in marketplace little huts that are really easy to build, and it doesn't look like you're building a cloning machine or whatever they call it. Um, just to just to sort of farm villages. It makes it look legit, like you've actually, you know, not tricked them into spawning and tricked them into breeding, which is which is just wrong because they got feelings too. I mean, how would you like if you were tricked into? It's like, oh, we bought this lovely big house for you, and it's only like one room, but it's got a picture of a big house on the outside. It's like, well, it's not really fair, is it? So, you know, I'm I've done that wrong, haven't I? Yes, I have. All right. Um, how how did I how did I even make that mistake? I said it to myself ten seconds ago. I was like, "This is facing forwards, and this one isn't." Um, I think I'm gonna move this whole thing along so I don't make that mistake again. Because otherwise, I think the wool might touch. Let me think about it. No, it's not because it doesn't come over the edge. Ah, oh, never mind. All right, let's just move it over here anyway. Um, that way we won't be able to sort of use the doors, but the villagers will be able to. But the cobblestone paths won't go to the doors, so that'll look look even more uh, snazzy, like it's been planned out, even though really we're winging it again. And we do need to sleep because it is mighty dark, uh, and we're pretty hungry as well. And it's raining. It's, it's like the triple threat. It's triple threat out here. I'm surprised we haven't seen any mobs. I mean, I've got the place lit up pretty well, but even so, like, there's usually something that comes over and has a go. Um, we've got our enchanted sword, which I think I, think I used once just to... Um... Oh, there's a creeper. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, I'm coming for you now, buddy. I'm coming for you now. Give me that enchanted sword. Oh, she's probably, he's probably burnt up. Oh, come here. You're done. You're cooked. You're cooked. Come here. Happy Christmas, damn creeper. Okay. So, um, there you go. Enchanted sword. Um, sharpness one. Enchantment on it. And creeper who died without even making a hiss. So, perfect. Perfect. Um... Uh, yes, I'm just going to check no mobs around here. The amount of times I've come out here and there's been like a couple of skeletons just hiding in the shadows. Uh, and there's always there's always like three or four of them. It's never just one. It's never just this lone sniper. It's always a whole bunch of them just waiting to just take me on. Um, I don't think I've got a pickaxe with me. That's really annoying. Um, I think I've got a... No, I lost the diamond pickaxe in the lava, didn't I? I must have told you about that. That was... All of those emeralds just wasted. I don't know why I even get out of bed in the morning. Um, but yeah, I went down into the mines, as you do, um, getting a bit of iron for the rail system, I think, or getting something. I, I can't remember what I was getting. Something important. And skeleton just knocked me into the lava um, I, as I was sort of doing a bit of spelunking. Sp spelunking. I still can't pronounce that word. Can't, couldn't pronounce it in episode one. Can't pronounce it now. Nothing's changed in 10 episodes, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we're on episode 12 now, I think, and I still can't pronounce spadunking, splunking. I don't know. Batman could say it, um, but I can't. I guess I'm not not as cool as Batman, but who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll have the bat layer or the bat cave or whatever it's called, and I'll be able to say that word that I'm not going to say again because I'm going to make a fool of myself. Um, but yes... But yes, I think I was doing that, and yeah, the, the skeleton just shot me, I fell in the lava, and not only did I die, which was annoying because I lost half of my experience, or two-thirds of my experience, or whatever the, the sum is, um, but all of my tools and all of my stuff that I was carrying around fell in as well. Um, now welcome to my little sheep pen here. I, I quite like this design because it's really easy to to get in and out without them escaping because there's just so many different things. They're very, They're very... Um, stupid sheep, so they just don't understand like the amount of doors that I've got. So it, it makes it impossible for them to escape. I don't think I've lost one sheep. And I started with two in this little thing. But yeah, see, look, they can't even get through one, let alone four. 
I mean, good luck, sheepies. This guy wants it, but he doesn't actually know what he wants because he's not going to follow me. See? Useless. Useless sheep. Okay, now we've got enough wool, we should be able to um, put a bit more of the roofs on. Uh, you can see over in the distance there. Oh, we, um, yeah. Uh, just. Uh, okay. I always got to find good vantage points. I always forget about doing this. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've got the plan set out for the rest of these market stalls um, and, you know, the rest of the sort of components we need. Um, what do I need? What do I need? Um, uh, the wooden pickaxe. That is just embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. I know I need it, but I can't believe I don't have any cobblestone or anything else to to make a pickaxe out of. That, this is probably embarrassing. Episode 12, I'm still using wooden tools. I might as well not have discovered fire by this point. Still, you know, don't know how to make torches. You must look like such a noob. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize from the bottom of my heart um, for about five seconds. And then I'm just back to normal. Back to normal. So, yeah, that's what they're going to look like. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, it's really simple. It's really effective because it uses a lot of doors. And I'm pretty sure the villagers are going to love it because it's just loads of doors for them to open and close because they're just idiots. Um... But yeah, like, you can fill up a lot of space, use up a lot of doors, and it looks pretty nice. Nice little marketplace. So if you are doing your own your own sort of Minecraft world, um, it's it's just a really easy way to to put some extra buildings in with, like, mineral resources. What is it, like, four, four birch wood, uh, four birch wood stairs, or four um, oak, oak wood stairs, um, four cobblestone fence posts, um, a couple of bits of wool. And two doors. That's it. And like comparatively to a house or a barn or a farm or a windmill, <laughs> um, it's it's really easy. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's that's so cruisy. I mean, we could we could pretty much build a hundred of these in this episode and not even break a sweat. So let's just get the doors and stuff. So this is the thing that sucks about doors. I wish they came like fences. Like you could just stack them up. That'll make it so much easier. Because then we wouldn't have to have this, you know, you have to fill your whole hot bar with doors if you want to put three or four down. Um, if there is a reason for that, let me know in the comment section below because I wouldn't mind knowing what it is. Again, I could Google it, but it's more fun if you guys know the answer and then you can just scream at me in the comments. Because um, not only does that make you feel good, but it also uh, lets me know what's going on in the big bad world uh, of Minecraft. And if you have any news, feel free to just link it to me in the in the comments as well. Um, like any updates and stuff. Uh, I think I looked into it and the the stairs are now smart so they know they know where they're going and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but yeah, I figure we need to make one of these a bit bigger because I've realised now that you can't walk through and have a crafting table as well. So we're going to have to make a couple of them like a little bit deep. Um, I don't think it'll be noticeable. Uh, we might have to extend it actually because that looks a bit dodgy. Still can't get in. Mm, that looks a bit ropey. I think uh, that might look a bit better. Let's see. Come here. Hmm. I don't know. That still looks a little bit ropey. I think. Let's have a look from afar. Hmm. I don't know. I, th I think we just need to extend this one and this one by one, if you know what I mean. And then we can just just sort of forget about it. Even that doesn't. Even, mm, I don't know. But yeah, to have a crafting table or an anvil or whatever we decide to put in these little places, we need to have an extension on them. Um, I think we're going to have to do that permanently. I probably won't do that now because it's just going to use loads of time. Um, well, let's just see how quickly we can do it. Uh, we'll just do it with the standard sort of thing. I think we will extend them um, by one. If we... Hmm. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Again, this is this is something that even though it looks good, it's not practical now. So it's exactly the same problem as last episode. We've built something now that checks the boxes from last episode in terms of looking good and, and working well. Um, but now that's gone out the window because it's not useful. I mean, I can't win. I just can't win. I, I swear, I'm not going to make any more buildings, even though that's the whole point of Minecraft. I'm just going just gonna to go mining and just fight mobs just for the rest of the series. Um, because that's going to be a way easier option than than trying to convince you guys that uh, like these little changes actually make any difference. I mean, I could put the crafting table and the anvil outside the shop and have it like a little shop front display, but instead of doing that, I'm trying to reshape all of these things to make them bigger. And 
I'm not even funny, but that looks just that looks awful. Maybe square looks better. Hmm. I don't know. I think I think there must be a way around having this problem because I, I I watch I watch people do it all the time. I watch enough and I design enough. I mean that windmill, like I didn't change anything on that. I just built that once off. But when it comes to something really boring, like a barn where I made that mistake with the the outside wall or these marketplaces, somehow there's always an issue. And I I've, I've got a funny feeling that it's just like because you think it's going to be easy and you don't put any time and effort into it, it just like it just makes it so much worse in in the final final result. So yeah, that, they're the right height now. I don't know why I started with two. I think I was going to do the same idea with the door frame from the first one, but have the wall on top. Um, if you if you know what I mean. But yeah, so that's what one, two, three. Hmm. I think it's yeah, like six or seven in total. Uh, so that's what, like 14 doors. That's half half what you need to have an iron golem spawn in a village, I think. I think it's like 21 or 27 or 20 something. Um, but yeah, let's just put some torches on here. Because um, the last thing we want now is a creeper and all that lot to spawn overnight. Then we come and do some more work. And it's all for nothing. Ah, oh, look at that little dog. Or is that, is, that, is that ours or someone else's? Well, not someone else's, but a wild, a wild dog. He's got the eyes of a wild dog. Look at those mean eyes. Um, crazy dog. He's a crazy dog. Um, but yes, I think I'm going to clear all these trees as well and build a fence around the whole empire at some point. Um, they didn't look too bad. They didn't look too bad. I think um, I think we do need to just reshape them because it's it's a big a big part of these ones because they're the closest to the house. Is I'm going to have to look at them every time I run over the bridge. So there might be a hundred times more in this little this little series of ours, and if they look dodgy each time, I'm not gonna have a leg to stand on. No one's gonna no one's gonna even you know look at this. This this is something again really simple but worked. So I think we go with that sort of design, something really simple that just is practical too. Um, I don't know how to make that, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Now what have we got? I think we need to make another box because this almost filled up the other day. With all sorts of nonsense. Um, we need like a precious, precious materials box, like a a safe. Yeah, a safe. So I'm gonna build a safe at some point, um, and I'll probably just put it down here and write a sign that says safe, um, and just hope it's safe. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I always spam that button for some reason. I like, you know, you cannot sleep, and I just I just press it until I get in, and it just jumps me out of bed straight away. So yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks like Josh Jr. is still there. George Jr. from last episode's disappeared. Um, as has uh, was it Gromit? Uh, I think it was. I think it was Gromit. Um, but yes, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, Gromit. I think it was Gromit. Or it wasn't. It was Mutley. Mutley or Gromit? Or was both? Did I have both? I don't remember. But no, the, the vegetable garden's looking pretty good though. Um, I think we planted that at the end of episode 10 or the end of episode 9 or one of those, one of those, um, wonderful episodes. Um, what I need to do is find some pumpkin seeds. I think that little chest that we started out with respawns, uh, which is over there somewhere. Um, and that will give us an opportunity to, to, uh, get some sort of items that are a bit weird. That's where the saddle came from. I think I checked it a second time and I got a saddle, which was pretty handy. And an enchanted book with uh, silk touch, I think it was. Um, so yeah, you put that on the anvil with a tool, and you can, as long as you've got enough experience, you can, you can sort of just run it. Now, this is the second time I've redone something, and at the last minute, I think just extending this entire structure is going to be a way easier idea than trying to sort of make changes halfway through. What do you what do you think? Let, let me know in the comment section below if you think I'm barking up the wrong tree. Um, but let's just just get rid of this. Let's just make this normal again. I think we'll make them all normal, and then we'll have one on each side that's extended. So the fat one that's got a crafting table inside and a chest, um, and then the one on the other side can have the anvil and a chest, and then the other ones can just have like maybe floor chests. Can you run over the top of a chest? I'm not sure. 
Um, we'll have to test it. Um, but yeah, maybe a chest in the floor, like where they... No, even better, the fish fishmongers or the fish shop or the meat shop, they could have snow on either side of the floor and then... Or ice and then a chest in the middle and that would make it into a freezer. Yeah? Cool idea? Well, I thought it was a cool idea. Um, if you don't think it's a cool idea, that's fine. But I think we probably won't even get around to doing that anyway because that is the silliest idea I've ever heard of. And also, the villagers don't actually sell anything. I know setting up a blacksmith and stuff is useful because then we know where the anvil is, but what would be the point of having a refrigerated meat chest in the Minecraft world? Is that a thing? Is like is trying to like make realism a thing? Maybe it is. Anyway, we're about out of time for this episode. Um, what we're going to do next episode is build a fountain. Uh, I just want to show you roughly where it's going to be. I'll try and sort of cut out the size that it's going to be. It's going to be quite a big fountain. A big grand fountain. Um, it's going to be further this way. Uh, let's get rid of this one. And it's going to have to be bigger than that even. I'm not sure the physics of the water. Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm hand on heart, I'm not going to test anything out. I'm not going to do anything like that. But like I said, that's ready for next week. So if you have enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you um, next episode. Take care, guys. Bye.